Hello, Emiliana. Um, I'm a first year PhD student at the University of Manchester. I'm doing my project in the School of Computer Science. Um, it's a computer science project with an application in the NHS. So, um, FARS model is that data save lives. How we strongly believe that. However, we think that data can save lives when they're being shared with, pe with the right people that um, can transform data into information and then knowledge. Information sharing in the NHS is one of the vital elements of what makes NHS um, successful. So, um, however, share, information sharing is costly and very challenging. Why? Data tend to lose their meaning if we send them to a context other than the one that they, they were originally designed for. For a very simple example of that is that if we have this um, data element and send it to a UK location, it could be translated as the 1st of May. However, if we send it to a US location, it could be translated as 5th of January. But that's not what we want. So information portability um, investigates the ability of information to survive its movement to different contexts. What we're trying to do in this project, we're trying to identify the challenges of data movement and assign some costs to them. So if we can identify those challenges and the costs, then we can say that a potential data movement or information sharing solution can be efficient or not. What we did so far is that we developed um, a methodology for um, identifying, identifying those challenges. We did an experiment with the methodology and we do have promising results. Our methodology starts with tracking the journey of data in among organizations. Then we can identify the boundaries that the data has to face when, when they cross those boundaries and the barriers um, retrieved from the boundaries. After we do that, we can assign some, some costs to those barriers. Once we have the cost, we can do a cost benefit analysis. And then finally, we can come up with a decision that yes, this uh, information sharing solution is possible and is feasible, and we're going to have some value out of it. So we did an experiment with um, a foundation trust here in UK. We talked with people in the radiology department of that hospital. And they described as the process of a GP requesting an x-ray test results back to the GP. So we do have the journey of the request of the x-ray, the x-ray being taken, and then the findings of that x-ray being sent back to the GP. We asked them to describe as the before process, which is um, when everything was on paper and they were sent manually through couriers and everything. And then they described as the after process. So we applied the, our methodology for the before process. We identified uh, the boundaries, the barriers, the costs of the before process. And then we, we did the data journey with the after process. Um, we analyzed the results. So we compared the before costs with the after process. And we found out that costs that were identified in the before, um, they were eliminated to the after. So that shows that we do have some promising results and our methodology can um, can identify some of the hidden costs that they were in the, um, in the process. And um, that's a way to eliminate those costs and come up with an efficient um, data journey, an efficient data movement or information sharing or integration uh, proposal. What does that mean? Um, it means that we can help stakeholders to make better informed decisions on whether a potential information sharing or, or integration can be feasible or not, could be beneficial for the NHS or not. That means that we can avoid unnecessary costs. We can help stakeholders to, um, to enable clinicians, researchers, and patients to have the right information at the right time at the right location. So the goal for now is to finish my PhD. After that, um, there are several doors open. The project has a general application area. It's not just in the NHS. So it could be every business, every organization that has um, data highlands and the need for information sharing or integration. So um, after my PhD, it could 
we I could um, follow one of those doors. I don't know which one yet. So yeah, good luck.